Um, so I had a great, great idea, as you can probably see here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking talk about them, baby. But I'm not talking about them politically, except for Donald Trump, of course. Donald Trump, definitely talk about Donald Trump politically. That'll earn a lot of views. But instead, I'm talking about how hot they are, especially Sanders, dude. Look at that. You see that mug? Mmm. Delicious. Alright. Look at this, dude. Look at this, dude. It's fucking trash. This is already a trash video. Alright, so we, we got we got Michael Bennett, Senator from Colorado. Okay, so already vote for this guy. He's from South Park, Colorado. He's in South Park. Dude, he probably knows Kyle. That means you can tell him to punch that stupid Jill in the face. Anyway, Joe Biden. Joseph Biden. Uh, Joseph. More like Joseph. Uh, Joseph Joestar from part part uh, three and part two. And part four and part five and part six. If you count, count him being alive that, the whole time as him being in the parts. Spoiler, by the way. Spoiler. Uh, yeah, him. Uh, he's a JoJo character, so you know. Obviously, he's cool. Give uh, Donald Trump eight years in the White House. Uh, it'll fundamentally and forever alter the character of this nation. And, uh, who we are. And I cannot stand by and watch that happen. A.K.A. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Another four years. Uh, he's run for president twice, by the way. Just let you know. You can uh, read all this stuff. You want. This, this is uh, facts. This is pro-facts by uh, the New York Times. You got Cory Booker. He's one of the token black people, uh, former mayor of Newark, and a senator from New Jersey. Uh, uh, pretty sure it's a, like you know, pretty fun joke to joke how New Jersey's like shitty. So yeah, sorry about that. Also, uh, I love uh, 54, 76, 50. Haven't seen one one less than 50. And Steve Bullock down here is 53. Wonderful. Uh, build a country where no one is forgotten. No one is left behind. Yada yada yada. Pride, not shame. All right, all right. this this dude. What what a what a great quote. I guess I don't fucking know really. Yeah, I think he's vegan. So you know, don't vote for him. He's vegan. I think. I got Steve Bullock. Oh, look, thirty-seven. Pete Buttigieg. Uh, need Donald Trump. We need to defeat Donald Trump in twenty twenty. Already, do not vote for him. Anyone who says they needed to defeat Donald Trump in twenty twenty, horrible. Trash, only doing it for ratings. Just saying. And corrupt system. <laughs> fucking nigga. CNN is fucking mainstream. You're saying fucking Donald Trump is part of a corrupt system. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Uh, governor of Montana. So he probably knows Hannah Montana. I mean, he, he governs her, so, you know. We, you know, if you vote him in, we'll have to deal with more Hannah Montana, so definitely don't vote for him. Pete Buttigieg, uh, I, I don't know, he might be homosexual. Name like that, you never know. But he's a military veteran, so. That's a good thing. Mayor of South Bend. I bet he likes it, he likes it in the South Bend. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, uh, running for office, Act of Hope. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's what it's home. Also, uh, don't mind all my tabs here. This is, like, actually the minimum amount of, amount of tabs I have on a daily basis. So. Like, I, I have, like, fucking three other uh, Google Chrome windows open every now and then. So, you know. <coughs> Stress his general gen generational identity. Focus issues on climate change. Hoax. Fake. 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 Uh, Julian Castro, uh, I, I heard him speak Spanish in the fucking Democratic debate, like, fucking last night, so, you know, do not vote for him. We don't need any filthy Hispanics from that country. That's a joke. It's a 100% a joke. Vote for me 2045 when I go for president. I'll be 46 then. Say so, you no, know, vote for me. I I can go there because I was also born here. I'd be a great president, just saying. Uh yeah, reading all this stuff. Yeah, dude, look at this. Delivered standout performance in the first debate in June 
declaring the nation would say adios to Trump. See what I'm see what I'm saying? First of all, adios, grody, ew. Second of all, he mentioned Trump, therefore trash. Also Castro. We vote we vote for Castro here. We're gonna be lining up for bread. But as Bernie says, that's a good thing. So Bill de Blasio, fifty eight. Uh, mayor of New York City. We got a New York City mayor. What a guy. What a guy. These are all fucking Democrats. Can't wait till we get the Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Say it three times. It's like uh, it's like Be Beetlejuice. Say it three times in a row. Donald Trump's shelf to your house knocking. About to deport you if you're Mexican. If you're not Mexican, he'll show up with a small loan of a million dollars. So, uh, yeah, and nothing really interesting here except for like universal pre-K. A pre-K failing, falling, falling crime and sturdy economy, economy. Just letting you know. That's how you pronounce it. <sighs> yeah, n nothing funny to say here, really, except for you know, Blasio. It's like Italian, maybe. I assume he might be Italian just by the name. John Delaney. Just look at that face, dude. First of all, just look at the face. That. I feel sorry for that. I feel sorry for. Just him not being able to retake that. And if, and if he had the chance to retake that, I don't know why he didn't take it. Also, former congressman of Maryland. That's where I live. I see, I see my house from here. Uh, I think I'm the right person for this job, but not enough people knew who I was or still know who I am. Yeah, I, I had no clue this, this dude was running. So, you know. It's a pragmatic idealist. Running aggressively since 2016. All right, epic. It's a former businessman. He's a former businessman, dude. No, dude. He better. He better win, dude. Well, I need to see businessman versus businessman. But he was former, so Donald Trump already has a leg up on him. You got uh, Tulsi Gabbard. <sighs> Excuse me, that's staying in. Because like this is the fucking trash content I make, so. You know, everything trash is staying in here. Supported Bernie Sanders 2016, so definitely don't vote for her. Because, uh, you know, if you want to vote for anybody, vote for Bernie Sanders. Just saying. Drawing condemnation. Com uh, condemnation. I can't fucking pronounce words right now. So he's President uh, Bashar al Assad, aka Bomb uh, All Americans. That's that's what that means in English. It's a uh, history lesson for you folks. His regime has been accused of using chemical weapons against civilians. What a fag. <laughs> what? Sorry about that. Oh, she made anti-gay statements? Oh, sweet. Vote for her. That's worth anti-gay advocacy group. Don't apologize for that, man. If, if you believe fucking gays are gay, Holmes, just believe it. It's your choice, bro. Uh, just like it's someone else's choice to believe that mental illness, such as transgenderism, is a thing that should be respected. Just saying. Kamala Harris, I think she's trash, isn't she? I don't remember why I think she's trash, because I have, like, horrible memory. But I'm pretty sure she's trash. <sighs> I'm gonna get, like, fucking Secret Service to murder me. Like real soon. I could dude, I could have done this the entire time. Oh no, only only she has it or I don't know. Anyway, it's like yeah, I believe the country needs some leadership that provides vision of the country in which everyone could see themselves. It's called a mirror. Amy Klob Klobuchar. This is fucking Star Wars. Sounds like a fucking Kashyyyk. It's not a Kashyyyk. I meant like I meant a what are they called? Hold on. Pause. What are they called? The fucking Chewbacca things. E no, not Ewok. I, I know it was Wookiee, but for some reason I was going to say Ewok. Okay, she, that's like a Wookiee name. Anyway, back to this. A hero to many Democrats for her stern, cool questioning of Brett M. Kavanaugh. Okay, don't vote for her. Kavanaugh did nothing wrong. Like, fuck off. It's called fucking faggot Democrats accusing people of something they didn't do. Like, I'm a virgin. Okay? So, I'm safe. I don't I don't have anyone saying I fucking 
raped them. And if they did say that, that's a lie. That's all I gotta say. Because if I actually do become fucking, like, popular, which is a very small chance, someone might say, so I gotta say, that's a lie now, before I get in jail for fucking committing hate crimes. Anyway, uh, Wayne Massam, another, uh, another token black person, fucking Kamala Harris was also black, I'm pretty sure. Didn't look black, though. She looked fucking... Fucking... Ah, uh, what was the... I don't remember the fucking word. I can't remember words today. America belongs to all of us. The promise of America belongs to all of us. That's why I'm going to run for president, to be your champion. But he was, he was a football champion, by the way. Former college football champion. So, you know, this dude's going to be tossing those balls, baby. Those balls of pure diplomacy. Okay, got Beta O'Rourke. I know it's Beto, just saying Beta because he's Democrat. That's funny, right? Ha ha ha. A uh, celebrity, he's a celebrity in the Trump age. Another another person who probably fucking says, Trump is bad, Trump is bad. Yada yada yada. From Texas. S Senate candidate, he was a Senate candidate, 2018, just saying. Viral appeal earned him a small dollar fundraising army, but the donations dried up in the second quarter of 2019. Already. Probably not a lot of money, though, so. Tim Ryan. I had a friend named Ryan. You know, vote for him. Vote for my friend Ryan. He's 46. American dreams slip through the fingers of Americans. How? How does it slip through your fingers, bro? We're not living in fucking mud huts at all today, so. I don't think it's uh, slipping through many fingers. Just saying. Anyway. Bernie Sanders. We're back to the man, the myth, the legend. Bernie Sanders, self-described self democratic socialist, uh, just, just saying, uh, replace that with a communist, and we'll be fine. Progressive proposals, like Medicare for all, more communist proposals, more like, anyway, yeah, commie, vote for Bernie if you want some communist stuff going on, that's all I'm saying. By the way, th this is, like, you know, very biased. I should, I should have made that clear in the beginning. I will have it in the, the description. This is extremely biased. I, I don't really fucking care about any of the Democrats. Plus, this is a joke, pretty much. So, just saying. Joe Sestak. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, right? He's a Navy Admiral. Alright. Highest ranking military office officer ever elected to Congress in 2016. Won a long shot victory. Uh, news of President... Oh. The depth of global experience, understanding of all the elements of a nation's power. Also, combating climate change and resorting to America's place in the or restoring America's place in the world. Uh, hoax, hoax. Uh, we got Bill Nye. Bill Nye, the science guy, is also running for president. Uh, is a billionaire, for, billionaire, former hedge fund executive. So he's a billionaire. Uh, <laughs> all right, climate change and impeachment activist. Alright. Say no to Bill Nye. Just saying. It's time for women to go to Washington and fix our broken government. That includes a woman at the a woman at the top. Why did I say women? Uh but uh yeah, uh Hillary Clinton two point But she's also like apparently Native American, so how can she win this? Ha get it ah! Marion Williamson. Self-help author. I really need one of those books. New Age lecture. Uh, spiritual spiritual awakening. I don't even want to go further than that. So I'm not a very spiritual person, so. Andrew Yang. Alright. And then we get into the Republicans. Andrew Yang. He's probably the coolest guy just because he's fucking Asian. It's like, yeah, vote for Asians, dude. Asians, like, here's the thing. Asians are good with math. So, even though Trump's already making our economy skyrocket, we're going to have an even better economy, thanks to the Asian. 
So vote for Yang if you want uh, a better economy than Donald Trump has already given us, which is pretty insane. As well as Asian, uh, me like you a long time. So yeah. Also, uh, apparently, universal basic income of $1,000 a month for all Americans. Vote for, vote for Mr. Mr. Asian, man. Also, you know, I'll, I'll do Donald Trump last. I'll skip him after this. Mark Sanford, 59, South California. I think we need to have a conversation on what it means to be a Republican. I mean, I, I figured it was uh, supporting, like, Republican type of ideas, like anti-abortion, pro-gun, that kind of shit. But, you know, I might be wrong. Yeah. Nothing really to say about this. I can't really insult the fucking Republicans as much because I don't know much about them. I just know fucking a lot of the Democrats fucking are gay. Not literally, just... Yeah. Plus, they, I'm pretty sure a lot of them, or all of them, are, like, anti-gun. So, yeah, they're gay. <sighs> Trump endorsed Katie Henry. <laughs> Hold on, fair? Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Well, yeah, whatever. Joe Walsh. That that looks like a knockoff version of Jordan Peterson. In my opinion. Unfortunately, Jordan Peterson isn't here wrong because he's Canadian. Got a guy in the White House who is unfit. Completely unfit to be the president. And it stuns me that no one stepped up. He's anti-Trump. Okay. Not surprised. A lot of people are anti-Trump. Because he's, he's he's kind of a douchebag every now and then. But I, but I like it because it's fun. I need, I, we need some funny stuff going on, bro. Staunchly supported Mr. Trump in 2016 because he wasn't Hillary. Honestly, like. So many people would agree with that, man. Because Hillary's fucking trash. So, you know. Sure, it's a cool dude. Just called Mr. Obama a Muslim and a traitor. And he later said he regretted some of those decisions. He might have been confusing Obama with Osama. I do that a lot, too. But, you know. Everyone makes mistakes. Obama is a traitor, though. Just saying. And then we got William F. Weld. I wonder if he went to engineering school with that name. Ha! I hope to see the Republic, uh, Party, Republican Party, not Republican, uh, assume once again the mantle of being the party of Lincoln. Ah, uh, Lincoln wasn't that good. So, what, uh, he freed the slaves? I could do better. Ran for vice president on the Libertarian Party, t party ticket in 2016. I don't know much about libertarians, honestly. I, re I really should look more into the po politics stuff. I, I really just watch it for fun, so. Like, I find politics fun. It's pretty funny. So. I love it. He's exploring a primary challenge to Mr. Trump, presenting himself a, as a voice for alienated moderates and mainstream conservatives. Nah, I feel like most moderates would vote for Trump anyway. Merge as a vocal critic of Trump, of Mr. Trump. During the 2016 election, saying to his call to deport immigrants, he vote Crystal Natch. I don't know what this German shit is. I don't care, though. I'll figure it out. Favors fiscal restraint, free trade, and moderate immigration reform. He's endorsed steps to legalize. Mar don't vote for him. I'm very biased. I don't like drugs. Ever. At all. Druggies should be fucking murdered. Just no. Fuck off. Donald Trump, baby! Reality television star, real estate developer, and the U.S. Presidente. 73 years old. You can't tell me that guy looks 73. That dude looks like a healthy fucking 20 year old, baby. Considering that we have done more than any administration in the first two years, this should be easy. There are great things now in the works, baby. Hell yeah. More legislative accomplishment as president. A sweeping tax cut that cheaply benefited corporations and wealthy investors. 
got to help them out, bro. Who do you get your money from? I, I don't think you get your money from uh, other coal miners. Just saying. It's focused on undoing the policies of the Obama administration, including on health care, environmental regulation, and immigration. Fuck that commie. Uh, it's, it's a myth. And get those filthy Mexicans out of here. All I'm saying is he's a fucking badass. Faces multiple serious legal invest investigations. The, the, the recent report by Robert S. Mueller III, the special counsel found no evidence he coordinated with Russia 2016, Russia's 2016 election interference. Because he's a badass. This dude is the modern day John F. Kennedy. But the assassination isn't with a bullet. It's with the fucking media. Of course, uh, Donald Trump's also stronger than Kennedy, as he will survive that bullet very easily. Signature issues restricting immigration, building a wall at the Mexican border, renegotiating or canceling international deals on trade, arms control, and climate change, withdrawing American troops from overseas, baby. Restricting immigration, definitely. Get rid of those illegals. Screw you. If, if you're a baby and you get separated, you shouldn't, have, you shouldn't have came here with a fucking baby. What are you, gay? I can stay over there and get, get here legally, nigga. Building the wall off the Mexican border. Keep them out of here. Seriously? What are they going to do? Climb the wall? Bricks. <laughs> that wasn't even funny. Renegotiating or canceling international deals on trade. They better give us better deals, all I'm saying. He's, he's a fucking real estate developer. He's a businessman. He's a fucking... You fired, okay? You fired. All I gotta say. Uh, fucking climate change. Yeah. Cli myth. Myth. Arms control. No. If a nigga needs a gun, they need a gun. All I'm saying. You gotta protect yourself, nigga. But yeah, uh, that was a that was a great video. I think. Let's let's, let's just uh, scroll down here. Bang! Unlikely to run. We got a we got good old John Cage. I'm not doing any more of this. I'm just I just wanted to see the like, fucking next people. So you know, yeah, we got these people. Cool. John Kerry, John Quincy Adding Machine from Futurama. Oh, yeah, great video. Uh, yeah, sweet. I feel like this this video is gonna do well. Fucking hopefully. I think it was pretty funny. Mainly just did this because I was fucking bored, so But yeah. Uh GG game over. Uh press that pause button and hit concede because Donald Trump is gonna win, baby.